medications at all? No, I might take a multivitamin if I can remember, but okay. nothing but else. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Any allergy to any medications at all? Not that I'm aware of. No, that's good. Okay. Right, Mealy. Mm -hmm. So um, before I discuss and you know uh, talk you through the options of the emergency contraceptions, yeah. okay. um, I just need to offer you. A few things as well okay. you might want to consider this okay so the first one that I would like to talk through about the um, infection screening oh, okay right. so you don't have to, to be done today okay mm -hmm. you can come back I'm more than happy to refer you to the one of the gum clinic okay probably in about in 10 days time what's gum so gum is basically a dedicated clinic where they can offer you uh, certain screening for um, sexually transmitted infection. Okay? Right, okay. So, because what happens is they can offer you the treatment as well, which is very important for your um, future fertility in, in, right. in the future. Okay? okay. So, I'll give you some leaflets about that. So, do think about it. Okay. okay. And then the other thing is before I'm um, discussing about this emergency contraception, I probably will need to do some. Um, urine pregnancy test just to make sure okay, okay? Right. and then I'll come to the um, options of emergency contraception have you had any thought or have you read anything about it well no there's a pill you can take isn't there yeah. there is there is okay so so let me just go through all the options with you mm -hmm. okay so basically uh, there are uh, three different types of emergency contraception, contraception okay. that I can offer you. Okay. okay. So um, the first one would be the coil. Okay. Okay. So with the coil, yeah. it can be given at any time within five days after your um, okay. intercourse. Okay. And then um, it is very effective. And the good thing about the coil is, if you would like to think about longer term of contraception, yeah. then we can just leave it there for you. And then in the future, if you are thinking about pregnancy, we can just take it out. Okay. So the coil goes inside then. So it saying? goes. To, okay. It goes inside. So yeah. So basically, when we put it for you, we put your legs up, and then we kind of put a speculum in and then we'll put it in okay so that's okay. the coil okay. the other two are tablets yeah. okay so uh, the first one is called Lavonel okay so it can be taken within the first three days mm -hmm. after the intercourse okay? okay it is equally effective however sometimes it makes you sick and that applies as well with the second tablets mm -hmm. that I'm going to talk to you about okay, right, okay. so the first tablet is um, it can be effective if it is taken within the first three days and the right. second tablet is effective if it is within five days okay, okay. with both of them um, uh, they can make you feel sick yeah and then yeah. it becomes a problem when you sit the tablets out oh, because right. then okay. it won't work yeah. then we need to give you another one Okay. 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 So the other thing is, if you've been taking certain medications in the past, say mm -hmm. like certain antibiotics, for mm -hmm. example, for any reasons, mm -hmm. then it won't be as effective as okay. if you didn't have it. But if, as you said before, you were not on any medications before, you were fit and well. Yeah. yeah. So I suspect that it shouldn't be a problem for you because you're, you know, you're not on any medications yeah. okay. before that. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, either way, with any of those, okay, so I'll, I'll give you, you know, you don't have to decide now, yeah. you know, because you obviously still have time, yeah. okay, I'll give you more information and then if you want to have a read, then I'm more than happy to see you again and then prescribe okay. or do whatever you like to go, okay? okay. So, so far, any concern, any question? No, I just want to make sure they work, really. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Then, obviously, I just would like to mention as well, you know, for your future reference, probably it's a good idea for you to start to think whether you want to have long-term contraception. contraception. Oh, well, I was thinking about going on the pill anyway. Yeah, that's really good, yeah. And I'm more than happy to, again, um, prescribe it for you so that, you know, once, once you you know, done with this, you can yeah. always start with the pills, okay? okay. And then uh, just other things that I need to mention that, you know, whatever method that you 
choose today, mm -hmm. I would recommend you to just do a um, urine pregnancy test in two weeks time, just to make sure that two weeks actually, time. yeah, okay. that actually uh, this um, this emergency contraception is really work. Okay, so what happens like, if I go for the pill, take yeah. one of the pills, and I'm not sick? Yeah. Then I wait for my period or I wait for a pregnancy test? So basically, I would say in two weeks time, mm. do if you if you do get your period, and that's more assuring, okay, but sometimes, you know, even pregnant women, they may have a certain type of bleed. So okay. even if you start to bleed, I would still recommend you to do urine pregnancy test just to make sure that it is actually your okay. period, not yeah. something else. That's, does yeah, that make that's sense? Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. So I'll take the tablet. Yeah. Have a period, hopefully. Yeah. Um, then do a and pregnancy then, test. Yeah. What happens if the pregnancy test is positive? What will I do? Sure. So basically, if the pregnancy test is positive, okay, mm. so you probably want to think or consider whether you want to carry on with the pregnancy mm. or do you want to have it stopped? Oh, I don't like the idea of stopping it, but um, of course, of if course. I do have a baby and I've taken all these different tablets, yeah. will it be all right, the baby? Yeah. So basically, with the first tablets that I've talked to you about, the yeah. now, there isn't any evidence that actually it is harmful to the baby. Okay. But with the other tablets, mm -hmm. they there there are evidence that if you take them during the pregnancy, that they actually do harm, do some harm to the baby. Oh dear. Okay, what, so what would happen? So what would happen? So because these are sort of hormones, yeah. So it affects on the, the baby's organ when when they start to develop. So if okay. you know, for that concern, then I would recommend you to go for the first one. The yeah, first yeah, and that's the one I've got to have soon. So I think I should yeah, go for that one really yeah, straight yeah, away. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You still, you know, eligible for that anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. So. Okay. I mean, I don't want to have a baby. I'm at college at the moment, but I couldn't have a, a termination, really. Yeah, that I don't is know what not I'd options. Do. Yeah. yeah, that's not a problem. So, you know, even, you know, even if that happens, mm. then you come back to us and then we sort out things. And then obviously we'll discuss everything, you know, like with every steps, we will always like discuss it with you and give you yeah. the alternatives as well. Okay. 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 Anything else that you would like to... Um, ask me, or do you want? Have you made up your mind? Or um, I think that well, I need to take the one that's, that's yes. quick, isn't it? Okay, sure, yeah. And if yeah. it's going to work, it's going to work, yeah. Mm. Of course, yeah. Sure, sure. So uh, what I'll do now? Mm -hmm. So uh, because you've kind of made up your mind, yeah. So I'm just going to prescribe it for you, yeah. Okay. So you'll need to take it, mm. okay, and then you need to. You know, I'll, I'll probably give you some anti-sickness as well, just in case. Oh, okay? okay. And then you just make sure that you keep the tablets down, okay, for the next three hours, okay? If you manage to keep the tablets down, mm -hmm. then that's very good, okay? Yeah. But if you do sick, you need to come back and I will need to see you again and see whether I actually need to give you okay. uh, the next tablets. Is right. that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. And then once you go home, you just need to... You know, wait for your period or do the pregnancy test in about two weeks' time. Yeah. Yeah. And then if it's negative, then that's fine. And if you do get your periods, that's really good. Obviously, if it is positive, then you might mm. want to have a think. And then mm. if anything, please come back to us and then we'll sort out things. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Anything Thank you. else? Um, not really, no, I think yeah. that's most things covered. Yeah, sure. And Hi, I'm Amy, I'm the pharmacist today. How can I help you? Um, I was just wondering, I think I might need the morning after pill. Would you like to go into the consultation room and have this more privately? I just need to ask you a few more questions about it. So, why do you think you need... Um, well, I had sex with my boyfriend in the condom split. Okay, and when was this? It was earlier tonight. Can I ask you what age you are? Yeah, I'm 14. And what age is your boyfriend? Um, he's 15. Okay. I just need to ask, but were you comfortable with having sex with him? Yeah, yeah, no, I was. It wasn't anything like that. I was happy to do Okay, it. no problem. Um, can we, okay, so we'll move on. When was the last time you had your period? Is there any chance you're already pregnant? Um, I don't think so. It wasn't that long ago. Okay. And do you use any sort of other sort of contraception, or is it just the condoms? No, you just use condoms. Okay. Are you having regular intercourse with him? Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, it's advisable that we 
get you onto something else as okay. well, just to make sure we don't have the same issue again. Mm -hmm. um, so we can talk about that later on, but do you have any other existing medical conditions? Um, I actually have celiac disease. Okay, uh, do, you, do you take anything for it, um, any medications? No, or no, I don't need to take anything for it. I've, um, I just, like, I've changed my diet and okay. that seems to be enough. And do you take any other sort of medications mm -hmm. at all? Okay, have you ever used um, the morning after pill before? No, no. Okay, well, the medicine I'm going to give you this time around is called Levin L. Okay. And it's effective for up to 72 hours after you've had um, the sex, but it's mm -hmm. more effective the quicker you take it. So I can give you some water now if you'd like to take it now, or I can give you it and you can take it at home. I'd rather take it at home if that's okay. Okay, no problem. So take it as soon as you do get home because mm -hmm. it's more effective. When okay, you get home, I'll take it um, there's normally no side effects really, but there are the few that can be uh, experienced are things like headache, abdominal pain, and there could be slightly irregular bleeding between now and your next period. Okay. So that's just something to watch out for. It is important though if you do feel ill with it and you 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 vomit within the next two hours that you come back and get a repeat dose just to make sure that you have been you have got a correct effective dose. Okay. In this. Um, situation your period as well so the next time you have your period it could come slightly late like slightly later or earlier than normal but if it hasn't come within seven days we advise that you get you come and get a pregnancy test and just check that okay. there's nothing wrong it doesn't necessarily mean you are pregnant but just because this pill has um hormones and things in it it can just imbalance what would normally be what okay. would normally occur um have you got any in, are you interested in talking about uh, regular contraception now um, I think I probably should, but I think I'd rather just go and talk to my GP because then they can actually give it to me. Yes, that's okay. Then. Well, I can give you a leaflet in the meantime that mm -hmm. you can read and take with you and you can ask all the questions you have. But if you have any other questions, you can let me know. Um, also, just because the condom did split, have you ever had any tests done for sort of STIs, any sexually transmitted um, diseases? No, I haven't, but... Me and my boyfriend have only ever been together, um, okay. so I think we're fine. Okay, no problem. Well, have you any other questions for me while you're here? Um, just one. Is there a chart? Do I have to pay for this? Um, no, this time you don't actually, because we have um, what's called a PGD, so it means that we can give it to you okay. um, for free. So you won't have to pay for it here. As, okay, if that's, that's great. If that's, yeah, no, uh, yeah, okay. no problem. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to come back and ask it. Okay, okay. thank okay, you. No If you are worried about becoming pregnant after sex, or your method of contraception has failed,